So it's not familiar. <sighs> Still gives me the willies. That's funny, but it's also just so creepy. Your magic skills are much improved. The mysterious portrait of the vault? Do we mean the, the picture of the dragon that we found in the previous vault? I wonder if he ever showed up in the movie. I don't remember. Okie dokie. Um, so. No, Hagrid, not yet. So, uh, are we gonna continue whatever you wanted to continue when Mundungus gave us that, uh, that clue? And this whole thing about him fighting a wizard in white that we went on a big scavenger hunt for, is that ever going to be brought up again? Yeah, are we are we gonna are we gonna discuss that? Are you okay, bro? Probably not. Let's be honest. Why? Wait. Wait. Uh. Scabbers? Peter Pettigrew? But that would, yeah, that, that would, that would definitely have ramification beyond the walls of Hogwarts. That would have ramification in the books and the official movies. If they found out now that he was alive. <laughs> don't know because I'm, I'm I'm not you know 100% this lady is I mean she she's she's feeling a lot like a Snape type character where we all think she's evil and then it turns out she wasn't but I'm also not a hundred percent sold on that <sighs> I'm, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, I, I, get, I get extra points And empathy is my only strength. So, I mean, I'm, it's probably not Peter Pettigrew. It's probably another unique character. Maybe it is Talbot that she's thinking about. But honestly, I don't know how, um, how that would fit in. No, no, please! I'm finally getting the creatures I was whittled down, and now you're throwing another one on me! <sighs> like a guest lecture? That's actually a good question. Oh. And yet we had a werewolf attack. Was it last year or the year before? Bet it was Marula, it was Marula, wasn't it? How do you know what he said? Oh, wait, yeah, that's right, she was there. You mean other than Autumn?
sure she's not just saying that to make you feel better. Or get you to shut up. Really? Oh, yeah. Nothing, obviously. So other than the dragon one we found in the previous vault. So all that was for nothing? <laughs> it's a cursed vault portrait. Of what? A cursed vault. Ah. Autumn, if you're trying to keep something from someone, don't say it out loud right in front of that someone. This is basic. Even I know this. Sometimes it takes you into Narnia. Like, no information? Just go for it? Okay, thanks. Oh yeah, you're finally gonna help out. After that conversation we had way back in, what, was it chapter one? And we're on chapter... Like, ten? Or something? So that's the Gryffindor common room right there. Man, this place is stuffed. You know, it just occurred to me. I mentioned that I looked up the, the plot to Hogwarts Legacy once out of curiosity, and they, it's something about ancient magic. And Merlin mentioned ancient magic. So maybe tell us about ancient magic, Merlin. It's probably in the vaults. I mean, it's one of these two. But what would be the difference? Something could be enchanted and cursed at the same time. Eh, everything is cursed. True, especially if you're supposed to break it. We're finally talking to portraits to get the information that they have. Where exactly? How big is the portrait? Ah. So let me stop it. Wow, I don't think anyone would have enough time on their hands, even if this was all that they did. Badia, focus! Is it significant that this portrait has mostly nothing in it? Like, there's some background stuff to either- is that a monster? Like, with glowing red eyes? Are we just looking at a hallway with a monster at the end of it? Is that portrait significant in any way? Did they make a portrait of your pony, Mr. Cadigan, sir? Cadigan, sir? She is indeed. She very much is indeed. So you were no help at all just now.
This whole adventure just now was useless! Not true, we went and got some macromantula venom together. <laughs> now, is she pronouncing that brats or brats? Because you might need some. Have a cookout. I don't know. Oh, wow. else is just like um okay guys shall we move on conversations with you in the great hall and over gobstones and at ha and at the three broomsticks yeah not since you reached level 10 friendship with me yeah but we're max friendship now we shouldn't have to interact anymore right and i have so many other friends i need to level up oof You should be dirty. <laughs> and I have exactly a I have a, a one track mind. Okay, friendship and empathy. Oh, good. It's not eight hours. So Bill was adult height when he was in fourth year. And we are now in fifth year and we are still child height. And by, the, by child, I mean very little, little bitty child. So, <laughs> when do we, uh, like seriously, all they had to do was, like, you know, in paint, when you select a picture, then you hold down on the corner and size up. All they had to do was that. Who are you referring to? Which friend? Like a chamber of secrets? I know, right? We have no details on this thing. I don't know what anyone else thinks. thought of that. That's like befriending a portrait or a ghost.
You guys were useless. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> so I just had a random thought, um, like, well, Autumn learned nothing about her brother and her visit to Nocturne Alley. Um, <laughs> are you guys abused? Do, do we need to, like, like, get HR in here? But, um, so, but I was wondering, like, can we learn more about her family? Because she, well, you know, like, her parents, because we always hear about her brother. And her mom, she vaguely mentions as living at home. But, um, she never once mentioned her dad, so I assumed he didn't exist, but then Slugworth mentioned her dad, so he does exist, but we know nothing about him? Hmm. Hmm. How's this friendship? Oh, well, friendship. Oh my gosh, she abuses the children? Let's see, let me take notes on these house cells. And then this house cell over here is just like humans. Okay, jerk. <gasps> Reject my brother! So are they not allowed to wash their clothes otherwise they're free? Was it right, Peck? I hope you guys don't get sucked into a portrait if they're gonna be cursed now. Just imagine Pitts attempting to climb on top of one of the kids and sit on them in punishment. No, it's a normal question, I swear! Oh, that's a good question, because they can live forever, basically, right? I mean, I'm sure not actually, but they're all, like, at least 500 years old or something. The, the Marauder's Map? I don't know, kid. Oh yeah, that's right, because we don't know. We just know that it's called the Marauder's Map for reasons. Like a human? Can you give me more details? No, you all look the same to me. Oh, well, that's racist. Well, you think we all look the same to you, don't you? No. Totally not. Well, it helps me, but not the play not the characters. Oh, well, thank you. I'll send you guys thank you notes all the time. Thank you, thank you for feeding us. <laughs> Autumn, you have been inside. Well, let's see. We haven't been inside the Hufflepuff common room yet. But she has been inside every single other common room at least once. <laughs> no, I did not. I was too distracted by your weird plaid pants. And no, it's not gold, it's yellow. 
Okay, so they do get into trouble for letting other houses in. Don't worry, Autumn. Just switch out your Slytherin shirt for something red and no one will be the wiser. Ah, the Quidditch games. But wait, I'm on the Quidditch team! Oh, crud. Why do we have our wands out? Are we going to attack somebody? <laughs> okay, no one's here. I guess we don't have to like kill them or whatever or obliviate them or what 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 horrible things are you guys planning on doing? Oh, that's why Autumn doesn't have to. What about all the first through fourth years and the sixth years? They don't exist right now. It's just fifth and seventh years. Okay. Okay. The wallpaper is a bit loud. <laughs> he's a pretty great character, I have to say. When he's not, you know, selling you drugs or whatever. I don't know. I think something's up, Jay. I'm not finding anything. Did you want to maybe come into the room and actually look? Okay, I suppose I can. Well, I was gonna say Esmelda, but she's not in- she's not in Gryffindor. <laughs> was it Ben? Ooh. Are your kids okay? Do you have family members in Azkaban? You just leave your contraband laying around the common room? <laughs> Maybe invest them. You know, probably too many Gryffindors stealing the. <laughs> you never know, might as well check. So the portrait isn't going to tattle on us? While we're on the subject of uh, the Hogwarts legacy plot, I know that, uh, while I was looking it up, uh, there's a character who transferred in from like the African, one of the African schools, and apparently like there they don't really use wands. And so I looked it up, and apparently it was just the European witches and wizards who came up with using wands, um, and like literally everyone else didn't so i was thinking i assume they originally developed it as like a focus point to make their magic more powerful and to give them extra control on more difficult spells but now it's like if you take away their wand they're helpless little babies they can't do anything even if as children their, you know, primary magic is performed without a wand. That's how they first learn that they're wizards and witches. But then as soon as they start teaching them to use a wand, all of a sudden they can't use any magic without a wand. So it's like, it's, it's like they gave them, it's like it was supposed to be an assistant, but it turned into a crutch that they used instead of their perfectly healthy legs, and now their legs are all atrophied. It's like, why would you do that? <laughs> Oh, hey! Sorry! 
I'm I'm not actually a Slytherin. First of all, I know you. Second of all, you're wearing a Slytherin t-shirt. I'm undercover. Because that's my MO and I can't help it. Oh, that's what he's upset about? <laughs> I thought he was upset about Autumn being... He's got a point there. Oh, yeah, that's also true. Um, every staff and profess staff member and professor at Hogwarts is what we'll become. Um... Okay. Oh, and the ministry? I appreciate you going against your deepest conscience for Scabbers. I'm so sorry it's so misplaced. <laughs> this poor child. Um, Autumn, well, no, wait. Well, yeah, if she's an eagle, maybe she can hunt him real good, but just not kill him when she catches him. Hagrid, Autumn has already gone through that insanity, and it's behind her. Aren't you, like, still technically dating Andre? Only when I need the energy or the, um, quest achievement. Oh, that's cold. <laughs> oh, that's so mean! Oh, but, but, but I kind of want to pick it. That also would be hilarious. Oh no, which two I choose? Well, this one's funny, but not as mean as that one, so we'll go with this one. <laughs> okay, okay, go on. Oh. Oh, what makes you think I'll be getting him into anything dangerous? You're you. Ah, you make a very good point there, sir. Okay, so we're going to just look for scabbers around the castle. No, 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 no. What? You need to spend energy on it. Oh, what? Yep. Why would we be going to Devil's Snare in the first place? Which of course means we will let him leave our sight at some point. Considering Autumn's track record with letting even large, humongous creatures and the not large creatures that were sitting in a bag right next to her 
out of her sight without her realizing it. I think we're going to lose Fang at some point. Fang, you work. You really shouldn't. Mm. <laughs> At least he's honest. <laughs> nope. Oh. Ah. <laughs> he's still a puppy. <laughs> Let's go, Fang! Fang sits his butt down. Come on, Fang! Pull on the leash, and he's just kind of pulling on his collar, and he's just sitting there. Come on, Fang! Mm. Yeah, he's real excited. Oh, there we go. He's a happy little five-year-old puppy. I'm sorry, Fang. We've all been hit by an ungrowing curse. Maybe that's the final hidden vault. It keeps you from growing. Yep. Okay. So I guess we're killing the locomotion. Okay. Maybe. There we go. So they can still hop if they are coordinated enough. I hope it is. Oh, yikes. Yeah, I feel like if their child protective services they could get busted here for that sort of a thing but maybe wizards don't have that Why was anything invented originally? Who thought it would be a good idea to make teeth grow? Like, why was that invented? That'd just be mean. Protective curses? What? How is a curse protective? Hmm. 
Uh, history of magic. Yay. Let me teach you these spells that you will use without supervision, but you really shouldn't use them without supervision. <laughs> I get it. Why? Oh. Never mind, I'd hate to be the person who gets to be, uh, the dummy. I mean, some of these are really disturbing and cool, and you're teaching children how to do this, and they just wander around with their wands? Yep. Okay, then. And Dittany, I guess. Good thing we already know how to use Wigan Welds. Didn't have to wait until we learned about Dittany. But why, though? I do wonder why they were like, This harmless plant heals! We gotta keep that away from the muggles. Oof, I'm so sorry, Penny. You came on the fear one. Listen, if I could bring every single person, then I would. We'd have like 30 people going to each cursed vault. The whole Quidditch team. Everyone. Poisoning, duh. Like, that Acromantula would have been like, I can take you guys out, and there would have been a whole crowd of us, and he'd have been like, well, shoot, I'm out of here. Or she, I guess. Like I said, they might be like actual spiders, where the female is almost always bigger. And the male is, like, microscopic. Practice your pruning your dittany. My diary! Okay, calm down. I think bone meal makes a good fertile. No. Wait, maybe it makes a good fertilizer. I know it makes a very nutritious uh, additive in food for animals. Probably for people too, but people don't like it.
I mean, that's what your hands are for, right? Ah! Uh, I guess the idea was that since it was dark magic, it couldn't be healed. How would we know who he was if he didn't have his car, though? Just imagine Autumn sitting there staring at the plant. I actually imagine the entire classroom. Okay, kids, for the next ten minutes we are going to sit here. Okay! Considering what our plant needs. And then they all just sit quietly and stare blankly at their plants. Oh, whoops, I should have done courage. Oh, well. All these empathetic classes. Yay! Except that we learned nothing about the vault portrait. We did not find the vault portrait. We, uh, I mean, it wasn't until, like, the very last couple... Well, yeah, we know nothing about the vault portrait, so nothing was accomplished this chapter. Yay. 